Yeah, 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 it's that time once again, the music workshop right here with the Global Music DJs. And right now we're going to get straight into the mix with the music plant's very own DJ Pat Harmon. Holler at your boy.
Gus, Gus House. I tell you that it is so important to talk about what God is doing. Power of God. How God is operating in the earth today. How God is saving souls. Oh, it makes no difference to me how many think there's nobody getting saved. God is saving people every day, every minute. God is working a miracle for one of his children somewhere. Isn't that powerful?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Pat Harmon throwing down on a one and two. Music plan's very old. DJ Pat Harmon. Holler at your boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first thing I can say is beautiful set, man. Phenomenal set. Oh, Oh, thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Music Plants' one and only, Mr. Pat Harmon. Harmon, what's going on, man? Tell me what you've been up to. Uh, Just just the music. It's it's keeping me alive. You know how that goes. (laughs) That set was a phenomenal set. What, What encouraged you to do a crazy set like that? You started off slow, bring a couple old cuts back, and then you twisted it up. What was going through your head at that time? Uh, just the comfort zone with the old stuff. You know, you feel feel good. You feel younger. It, it brings back memories. You know how it was, and you know, just just felt like playing. Just felt like going back a few years this time, like twenty years or so. How long have you been DJing? Uh, since '85. Um, I used to play around. You know, '83, '84. BMX GCI with the the dual cassettes, you know, pausing and splicing, and then I got into splicing the tapes, and and then oh, oh wow, turntables, this is it, you know, I was hooked. That is a true old school DJ right there. <laughs> you were mixing since '85. What was the name before you used your real name? Now I, I was DJ Stogie back then. It, it actually grew on me because I used to. This was back when you could smoke in the clubs, you know. And uh, I always had a cigar in my mouth. And it was, people would just say, yeah, that Stogie guy. I'm an old schooler myself. We got Ray Martinez. He's an old schooler. If I'm not mistaken, you're going back in 85 in, uh, in that era. I think, whether or not you can correct me or not, Indiana. You've been bouncing back and forth in Indiana. Northwest, Northwest Indiana and then, uh, like, the southeast side, south suburbs, far south suburbs. Um, of course, you got to go into the city to get your music. You know, uh, imports and, and gramophone. Andy Moy over there. Shout wow. out, Andy. Big old shout out to Andy over there. Gramophones. Wow. He mentioned imports. I remember going to imports back in Plymouth. Remember that? That was yeah. that was the spot back in the day. Um, who was your major influence? You you mentioned B, BMX back then, and who was your major influence that made you Pat Harmon from Music Plants' very own today? Now, with your twisted skills in DJing with the funk, disco, soulful music. Uh, you know, you, you, you listen to, to BMX and GCI, and, and you, you get a feel for the music, and then you, you really you learn to love it. You go out to the clubs, and you see people mimicking those DJs. Then someone brought me, they said, you got to see this guy. It took me out to see Ron Hardy. And I was like, wow, here's a guy that didn't follow anybody. He, he did his thing. He followed his, his gut, his feeling, and he was phenomenal. And and he just he didn't do the cookie cutter stuff, and I was like, you know what, this is this is awesome. This is the way to go. Can you give any pointers to our listeners out there, or our, or our new DJs out there? Because you know, there's a lot of old school DJs that that listen to our stream and stuff like that. Is there any pointers you can give to them about the music back then and the music now, and especially that you hang with the the 40 year vet DJ Val? You know, these guys go way back. You know, these guys are old schoolers, true old school DJs. You know, and what, what 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 would be the advice that you would give them as a, 
upcoming DJ slash producer or whatever they want to get into in the music field? Well, do not follow. Don't follow. Do what you love. Get in, whatever you love in your heart, follow that and do that, and you'll find your place in the world. I got another crazy question to ask you. It's no offense to anybody out there. What, what do you feel about sync DJs? We always go through this sync DJ phase on Facebook. Everybody's hating on each other and stuff like that, and they're always, oh, you're a sync DJ, or, or you're not a real DJ. You got a DJ on, on turntables. Oh, I DJ on this, I DJ on that. What do you think on that situation? It doesn't matter. I think the programming is more important, you know, your song selection. I mean, I've, I've heard some DJs that fade out and fade in. If you're picking the right stuff and you're in touch with the crowd and you're leading the crowd, not letting them lead you, but you're leading the crowd and taking them on that journey, it doesn't matter if you sink or if you slam, if you fade in, fade out. It's really not that important. Um, we learned to beat match with our ears because we had to. You know, We had turntables with belt drives and then even before the 1200s came out and we, we did it because we had to, and we loved the music, and we weren't, you know, we were perfectionists. We weren't happy until it was perfect, you know, and then you could take people on that journey. But uh, the, the sync buttons, just ma they make it easy, but it's, it's about the programming more so. I agree with you 100%. Now, in the journey, you're with the man that I grew up listening to, everybody grew up listening to, and uh, Georgie Porgy's Music Plan. How did, how did you become part of the music plan, and how did you get to know Georgie back then? How long has it been? You and Georgie together? Um, not that long. I've I've, I've known uh, Georgie through his music, and just recently as a, as a human being, and he's he's unbelievable in the music world. But as a human being, the man is is phenomenal guy. Oh my God! What what a what a what a role model! I mean to say, he's one of the awesome. down to earth DJs that I've known. You know, there's there's a lot of DJs out there that they walk with their head so big, and it's usually a miracle that you don't see them floating around somewhere. But He's very humble and down to earth. Is there any collaborations you are you going to do with Georgie? Are you producing right now for Georgie, or what are you doing? You know what? It, I just do what my heart tells me to do with the music, and then I'll, I'll fit in wherever. You know, if whatever he needs, you know, I'm I'm there. I mean, you know, you, as far as the DJs with the big heads, you you kind of got to have a big head. You have to have an ego, a, a too big of an ego, because there's so much negative and and hatred and jealousy in this industry that the only way to survive, I mean, if you have a half a heart, you're going to get crushed over and over and over. And, you know, Val's showing me how to keep, you keep going, you keep going, and you, you stick with the positive people, you, you, you walk away from the negative people. And there's not a lot of positive people, and if you find one, stick with that person. Well said, well said. Any other shout-outs that you want to give anybody a shout-out out there, any particular person? Oh, man, I've had so many so many influences. <laughs> Georgie's, Georgie's the man, though. George is the man. And my girl, Val. Hey, Val, what's going on? <laughs> anything, anything in the future? Anything, anything in the future that you're going to come out with? Or are you thinking of producing a crazy track like that tw crazy twisted mix you did right there? You, <laughs> you bring me back. I was like, wow, I haven't heard that record in I don't know how long. <laughs> so what are we working on? I know you're working on something. You're just keeping it to the hush-hush? or Yeah, I'm just you know getting acclimated to the, the different software. I mean, it, it seems like as soon as yeah, we're, go we're going to Miami in uh, next week, Thank God, get out of the Chicago weather. You know, double-digit temps. Woo! <laughs> you know. Be besides that uh, <laughs> seminar at Miami, um, you can plug yourself in, man. Where are you going to be at in Miami? You know, oh, we're going to be at MOVA on Tuesday, the 25th. Uh, it's a WMC opening party. It's going to be a lot of talent there. A lot of talent. Check out check out the flyers on Facebook. Pat Harmon on Facebook or DJ Val. We've got the flyers posted for it. It's you know the the talent is is it's off the hook. It's gonna be awesome. it's gonna be a super super fun party. Is there any more dates besides Miami? You guys gonna be at you DJ Val, Georgie, anybody else gonna be around we traveling, do, touring, or what? Go with the flow. We got a lot of you know. There's a lot of goals. We're doing a lot of music with uh, you know um, DJ Hall of Fame. We're doing a lot of pushing that because we need it. The good people need that. Right. You know we got to stick together, and that's a good. That's a good group. It's a good group of people. They're going good places and doing good things and, and supporting the right people. You know, they're supporting everybody because everybody needs it. But it's it. They've got a good mission. It's a good. It's a good group, and it's a good thing to go with for people that are starting out. Hook up with that. Cool. For for all our listeners out there that like your music and stuff like that, where where can they find you? Do you have a certain residency or Just sell wait. CDs or a link or something? Uh, I, I got Facebook. You know, Sound SoundCloud, Mixcloud. I've been doing more on Mixcloud. Um, I'm, I, I fill in different different places. Uh, my 
resident at Perception Lounge, I've been at Bevy, uh, Zante. Um, I, I pretty much fill in. And I'm doing the doing the uh, music on the side and trying to stay up with the technology because it seems like as soon as you get familiar with something, there's something newer, better, easier, faster, and you just keep going with the flow. You know. Cool. So. After you come back from Miami and stuff like that, what can we expect from Pat Harmon? Are you gonna give us a little sneak, a little 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 mm-hmm. cheat cheat sheet or something? Are you working on something on a DL? But you're I'm, just gonna have I'm us just all wait. Gonna have fun and and hopefully a lot of people can have fun with me and you know just just follow your heart and and that, that's all I'm planning is just go go with what I what I feel I need to to do with the music. Cool, cool, cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Music Plan's very own Mr. Pat Harmon. You can check him out on Facebook. He's got a Twitter out there, SoundCloud and stuff like that. Yeah. Big shout out to the Music Plant, my man Pat Harmon. Phenomenal mix. We're going to get right back in the mix with the old schooler himself, Ray Martinez.